We're going to use component editing to change the shape of a basic primitive. We're going to have a look at the vertexes, edges and faces that are ma that make up a polygon cylinder. Drawing the polygon cylinder into the workspace and looking into the channel box, I can see that I have 20 subdivisions around the original axis. I'm going to change this to 8. It's very common to find most of the game assets have between 6 and 8 sides whenever they're wanting to be a cylinder. I'm now going to move the cylinder up by one unit to make sure that the cylinder is sitting on the plane. To access the components we're going to use the right mouse button. Holding down the right mouse button over an object when an object is deselected will bring up the context menu. This menu allows us to get into the things that the component areas that make up that object that's underneath. If I hold down the right mouse button without being over the object I will see that I only have two options. If I select the object first using the left mouse button and then select anywhere away from it I get the same context menu for the object that's selected. The first way we're going to have a look at is we're going to have a look at modifying the vertexes. When I select the vertexes the object turns light blue and we have these little magenta vertexes on each object. By default Maya, because we're in vertex mode, will highlight the vertexes that are closest to that object. So selecting a vertex will turn the vertex yellow and will access the vertex components inside the channel box. If I wish to move that vertex I just need to use the move tool or the transform tool and I will be given some transform handles that will allow me to move that vertex. I'm going to use the undo tool just to undo that process. Okay, so just to review, holding down the right mouse button brings up the context menu. If I want to delete this object I would need to be in object mode and then I can select the object and then delete it. I'm going to use the same process but this time I'm going to use a pipe. Here's the pipe and it's going to give me some options. How big do I want the pipe? I'm going to say that's fine. Okay, so we now have the pipe and I'm going to change to 8 divisions and the pipe obviously gives us a thickness so the thickness is 0.5 well I don't want this to be too thick so I'm going to change the thickness to 0.2 and then we're going to have a look at the bottom. Now we can see that the bottom of this uh, pot as such is not complete so there's a hole in it but if we wanted to actually change if we wanted to change the actual shape of this object I'll just give this a height of 3 there we go uh, what we can do is we can actually right mouse click and select the vertexes and that selected both the vertexes on the bottom and then we could use the scale tool to actually scale those vertexes in so you see we've now created a shape that is more like a plant pot. Okay, I'm going to go back. I'm going to try something slightly different. We're going to go and try building our plant pot from the cylinder as we intended to. But what we're going to actually do is we're going to add some divisions. So we're going to add some divisions on the cap. So there we've got the divisions. And we're also going to add some divisions on the height. And there we go. I'm going to actually add three divisions on the height and this is because I want to actually select the edge. So the edge that I want to select is this first one. If I go around and use shift I can select all these and you see a little plus sign turns up. And it also turns into a minus time sign to tell me that it's going to disappear. This is a Maya 2016 option. It will be slightly different in 2015. Double clicking on the edge as a loop will actually activate the edge loop. I'm going to use the move tool to just slide this edge up towards the top. And I'm going to do the same 
with the second edge here. There we go. Okay. Now I'm going to select the edge ring around the base and I'm going to use the scale tool to actually scale that edge in. There we go. Very nice. So you see we have kept this top edge uh, which allows us to have <coughs> the lip that we would see on a plant pot. I'm going to do the same with this one. I'm going to scale this one out. Not too far. And then I'm going to actually select all the edges. I want to convert those into vertexes. So if I hold down the shift menu uh, and hold down the left mouse, uh, right mouse button, you can see that we have a different context menu comes up. This is a, a, a tools menu. Uh, so what I want to do is hold the control button and the right mouse button and we're going to convert this to to vertexes. So that's a useful tool and then I'm going to select the vertex in the middle as well. And We're just going to move these vertexes down. And this is why we needed the second uh, row of uh, the uh, the uh, edges on the top. So we'll just select these and we'll just scale these in and down. There we go. So now you can see we've got the plant pot shape. And we can move this up to the top. And the last thing to do is to make sure that all these edges that we've got around this, uh, this plant pot we need all those edges to actually be soft. So we're going to double click on each of these rings. It doesn't take two minutes when you've only got eight of them. If we had more, obviously it would take a lot more. And we're going to actually use a smoothing command. So we're going to hold down the right mouse click and we're going to hold down shift and we're going to soften the edges. So you see how we context in and in? So we need to soften the edges. Now we can also get to that by going into the modeling menu on the polygon modeling menu. Soften edge. There we go. Under mesh display. And this then turns those normals into a much smoother normal. And this is this is part of garage shading. And it's used quite a lot inside game engines to fake the uh, the viewer's eye into believing that that is a round surface. Okay so that's that's the first one done. I'd like you to have a go yourselves and see if you can come up with uh, a good plant pot design. Obviously if you want to have a hard edge on the bottom of this one you could go into your uh, mesh tools and set that to hard. There we go.